What's going on, my assimilated peeps? Today we have a assimilation video. Today we're going to learn in Transom Vienna the how to start up, go in reverse, and shut down. So, right now I got my game loading. There we go. Here we are. This is the ULF B1. So it's the uh, the second order. There's no uh, rear view mirror on this one. What we have here is the camera. So we're here in the depot, track four, hall four. This is where we have to back out of it. So as you can see, nothing's on. You're thinking, hey, nine of thirteen. How do I start this bad boy up? This is how you do it. You go over to this key. See. I need to turn off my phone. You click it, puts the key in. Move it to the right. Bam! You're gonna click forward, click back. You're gonna see the lights turn on. Everything's gonna start flashing. You're gonna see this screen. You're gonna wait for it. While you're doing that, you can raise your panograph. Your panograph is this button right here. You could also use a keyboard, a controller, whatever you're using. But this is the button for the panograph. Raise the panograph. When the lettering comes on, Click on this, move it to your right two notches, boom, successful starter vehicle, 10 TSP. Now uh, you're going to want to put on your headlights, your indicators, it's this dial right here, move it one to the right. This one right here is your cabin lights for the passengers. And we're not going to deal with this right now, we're just going to do the actual operation. So we need to back this thing up, see we can't go forward. So we leave that as it is we don't do anything except take the key out so while you're holding down the mouse button click it to the left and right ah wrong way there you go you take the key out and you get up where's my yep get out of the cab walk to the back this is a nice tram built in 1995 I think it was uh, Siemens that built this. So it's the U it's actually four different specs of trams. So the ULF came in an A and a B configuration. The A was a five section shorty. The B was a seven section um, full length. Then they did a second order, the A1 and the B1, which is like upgraded specs like the Ibis is different. There's no more rear mirror on the ones. So you insert your key in that one. It's on the left panel right there. I'm over here talking trash. You go to the left panel here in the back, you insert your key there, it opens up. You put your key in this hole right here, turn it to the right. You're going to hold down this brake button until the green light to the left comes on. This green light just below the key. should move forward. Wait, did my tram shut down? Wait, let me see. Oh yeah, my tram shut down. See, when I did the whole key mess up earlier, this is why I didn't want to do this long. All right, so uh, maybe I'll cut all this out. I don't know. So we're gonna get back over here. I'll probably cut this out. I probably won't. I'm, I don't really like editing. Yeah, she shut down on me. All right, let's sit back down. Let's restart this bad boy. We're gonna bring this. Hey, you get the startup. A new startup again. You get to review everything. The startup. This is still flashing though. That's weird. Alright. Put the key back in. Boom. That's coming on. My camera graph's already up. Never lowered. I gotta do that quicker or just take my time with it. Because I know turning it on, you do it quick. Wait for that. I already had the 10 uh, points for the uh, startup, so we'll just bring that back there. All right. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right. So now, take two. You want to back this bad boy up. Can't go forward. Go to the key here. Go left. Boom. Take the key out. And we stand up. All right. 
Oh, I, yeah, I had opened my door because I boo-booed earlier. If I didn't, if I edited it out, if I didn't edit it out, so what happened. But yeah, that door's going to be closed. You open the door, you walk to the back. Yeah, my light stayed on. All right, yeah. Okay. I'm good. Too. So you go back here to the back panels. The panel on the left is the one that opens. You're going to need to open that bad boy. Boom. Put the key in. You put the key in here, you're going to notice that your brake light is on. That's your brake light. I'm going to explain that in a second. You turn the key to the right. And then you move this to zero. Then you hold the brake button. Come on. Hold the brake button down so that green light just below the key comes on. There you go. You see that? Now, the trick is you have to hold down this button to keep the brake released. Okay? It's only way it's going to move. So this is going to be a two-handed thing. You're going to need like a button on your controller or a key set to brake release shunting in the settings option. So as you can see from it doing, I'm not doing anything. I got a button on both my controller and my keyboard somewhere. What is it, six? There you go, yeah. So I got a button on my keyboard and my controller. So I can use the mouse to control this. Now you're going to move it. Zero is neutral. B1 is brake, B2 is emergency brake, F1 is forward low, F2 is forward medium. There is no fast, so you're going backwards. You also have uh, a nice bell option right there, which I think is this one. No, it's this button. Yeah, that's the button. That right there, this button here is to open this back door. Comes in handy when you need to get out to uh, use switches. So, hold the brake down. Grab on the throttle, move it forward. We're gonna bell. Let us everybody know outside that we are moving. Let me move my camera up a little. There we go. We're gonna back this up so we clear a certain switch. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you the switch it is. But this is how you reverse the trams. Each tram has a panel in the back. It's similar operations. All the ULFs pretty much work the same. There might be a slight button, you know, one button maybe over an inch over one side and stuff like that, but they're pretty much the same. I know there are other content creators out there that already showed the uh, Bombardier Flexity, the default modern one. Let me stop the tram because I got oncoming traffic and I got to back it up to there. So the last switch we just passed, was uh, the switch we need to set. All right. I think we're good on traffic. Ring the bell. There we go. Move it forward. Ah! See, the thing about this is that little thing right there has a nice little blind spot. Hold on, let me back and move. Ah! Even better. Haha! -ha. You gotta do this bad way to the side. All right. Wait, I'm having a little controller issue here. Oh, you won't let me unless I'm actually. Okay, let's move back over here. Whoa! Don't do this to me now. Input. What's going on? Oh, cause it's also my joystick. All right, let's go back. Let's try this again. All right, here we go. All right, button works. Here we go. Uh, ding, ding. Stop. There you go. We're good. Ding, ding. He's going to wind up stopping. We're going to stop just before the switch. Let me look. If I look forward, I can see if I click the switch or not. Let me go forward a little bit more. There we go. Now I'm good. So, you're done reversing. You've let go of the brake button. You're going to bring this back down to B1. You're going to turn the key to your left. You're going to click it to take it out. You're going to click here to close this shunting panel. You're going to go back to the front of the tram. Now we're also going to show you some switching. 
this depot and I think the switch at Prater on the north end of the Route 1 and maybe a less than a handful of few more switches, you have to put the switch rod into the point over here or over here, here or here to switch it. All the other switches are pretty much just a slot right there. You put it in, you move it to the side, you remove it. We're going to show the, uh, the switch point one. So I'm going to open up door one. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to go out to make the switch. So we're going to switch the second one. Yeah, that's the one we need to switch. My bad, it's this one. Because we want to go straight. We want to go and make that turn over here. That's already lined up. This one's already lined up. Because we went through it. So we're going to go here. So you're going to find where you could... There you go. You see right there. Boom. You put it in there. And it automatically switches. And then that's all it is. Every switch in the depot area does this. Including the ones for like the shunting scenario. So when it says, I want to set switches myself. That's how you do it. So I'm going to leave my door open. Oh. Here's a little trick. You don't need to actually place this back. You just sit down. It goes back automatically. You see? It's already placed there. It's right there in the bottom. There's the uh, little hook part right there. <laughs> you could also operate the, the handicap ramp from seated. Just turn. Boom. Yeah. So you don't actually have to like get up or change the camera angle. You could just do the ramp from your front door. That's also on the flexity as well. Okay. So we're going to close the door. Now you want to go forward again. Here's how you do it. You put your key back in. Turn it to the right. It's going to click back left and go down. You're going to see that. You click this back down to zero. You bring it back down to VA. Now, if you put it on VA and you don't move, you got a door open. But if you put it on VB, you can move with your doors open. There's a little handy trick for a depot shunting right there. Okay, so now we're going to move forward. Ding, ding. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to go like 10, do like 15. So we're going to park this bad boy by the train wash. Go straight until about here. This should be good. So now we've gone forward once again. I'm gonna click on the key, hold it, left, left again. Ah, too much. I think that just shut me down. Hold on. Give it a second. Okay, I should be good. My lights go off, then we know I screwed up again. Now we got it. We got it. Left, left. Take your key. Leave it on VA. The tramp stays on. I'm going to get up. I'm going to grab my trusty switch rod. Now we get to use that back door feature, too. Ooh, ticket machine's on board. Nice touch, Vienna. In case you're going to miss your tram. You don't got to miss it by trying to buy a ticket before you get on. You just board, buy a ticket, validate it. All right. So. I should have went more forward. You know what? Damn. I got to move forward more. <laughs> Back to the front we go, peeps. Yeah, this is a fun little video. I think I'm going to leave it as is. It's only been like 14 minutes. We're almost done. So we're going to sit back down. Ah, uh, So basically, go up to that switch. All right. So we're going to put the key back in. Right. Boom. Down to zero. Take it slow. Because if you go back all the way too much, you're going to wind up shutting off or something. It, I, it's finicky. Back forward, boom, boom. We're good to go. Let me move up a little more forward. And stop. Okay. 
There you go. Take my key out. Let's get up. Grab the switch rod. Go back to the back. Gonna check. Walk a little faster. Whee! Alright, did we clear? Yes, we did. That's enough. Alright, so. Open this up again. Put the key in. Move up a little closer. Put the key in there. Turn that bad boy on. We're going to open up that back door. Hey, look at that. Yay, it's, it's convenient. It's beautiful. Let's, uh, let's see what's available. Oh, pff, anything over there. I bet. How about we do this? Let's, uh, let's keep the tram wash clear. We're not going to the wash. Let's, uh, let's roll up on the... Let's go into Bay 4. No, 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 let's go into Bay 5. Let's go into Bay 5. So Bay 5 is this one. We're going to follow this to here. Okay, so you see we're going to put our switch point there. We're going to switch it over. That's going to lead us to 5. Now we're going to back up. we got to make sure this one's straight. You see? The slot's open. Read, read the iron, as we say here in, uh, in the U.S. Point open is the direction you're going. Going towards the left, not the right. Boom. And let's see that other switch. Okay. We need to switch this one here. Boom. All right. Let's see. So, we did this right. Which we didn't. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Did we do it right? Alright, I want to go this way. I want to go this way. I better see a closed point to the main track. Okay. And the rest should be open. Oh yeah, it's open. I just came through it. Alright, cool. So we got it lined up. Now the cool thing is, this door can stay open when we move it from here. But let's have a little fun. I mean, this is depot operations. We're, we're not in revenue service. So hold on to the brake. Ring the bell. Ding, ding. Let's go forward, people. There we go. Whee! Ding, ding. We make this right. Go a little faster and make this middle right right here ah oh break you see what's a little too fast on that let's coast bam look at that let's bring it all the way back no let's go to the inspection pit we'll, have, we'll stop at the end of the inspection pit and then uh we'll do the shutdown I can bring it in a little faster. Alright, let's stop her. You see emergency brake. Put brake on, put it on B1. Make sure to always put the lever on B1 before you take your key out. Turn the key to the left. Remove it. Close the panel. Ah, I just remembered something. Oh no. I can close my door from the front. <laughs> I can close my door from the front. So now we're going to do the shutdown. I mean, they say they teach you this in the uh, shunting scenario when you get the depot DLC, but they don't give you instructions on what to do. They just say, all right, when you, well, like, when you get into the tram wash, you know, close your doors and shut down your pentagraph, but they don't show you, like, they don't point to you what device, what button on the dashboard, you know, brings down your pentagraph or anything like that. So, let's sit down. That's what, well, I hope this video helps. I'll also be doing one for the, uh, for the E2. And I'll do one on the Flexity as well, and then I'll do one on switching. So, we put our key back in. Ah. There you go. I'm going to shut everything off. Bring down the pantograph. This bottom button's the pantograph lower. Lower the pantograph. 
So when it's lit, the pantograph is down. Now you're going to bring this lever back down to zero. You're going to turn this all the way and remove it, and everything should shut down. So let's get up and watch. Usually takes like a minute. You know, I forgot to open up the door. All right, we'll just close that. Why are you not shutting down? Hold on. Shut down. You're not shutting down. There you go. I guess you gotta hold it there for a second. Yeah, don't forget to, uh... Yeah, hold on. All right, guys, here's what you do. Before you shut down your tram, make sure you open up your front door. This is your front door. One of these is all unlocked. One of these, that, the yellow one's your bell. Uh, that's unlock all, that's close all, that's your front door button. Open up your front door before you shut off your tram. All right, hold on. There you go. Make sure everything shuts off. Now there is a trick. I just remembered. If you're stuck inside like I was, if you point like your cursor down here, you get that. That's for the keyhole for the outside of the tram. That's to get in when you're you you are not. I did it again. Dummy. Yeah. All right. Insert key. Left. Shut it down. Let go. Remove it. Good night. Go to sleep. There you go. <laughs> and so it's exciting. Now, you want to close the door. Right? There's a little square hole right there. Each tram has one. Something similar. It's usually like that or like this. On this one, it's like that. So what you do is you just click it. And the front door closes. This is also when you're starting a your tram for the day from the outside, like in that chunking scenario. You click here, it opens up your tram doors automatically, even when your pantograph is lowered. Don't fall on the pit. Don't fall on the pit. Even when your pantograph, as you can see, is lowered. So we're just going to close that bad boy down. I need to get closer. It, ah, double click. There you go. He's closed. So there you have it. ULF Tram from Transom Vienna. We had your startup. We had your sh reversing, your shunting. We had uh, in depot switching. And then we had your, shun your shutdown. I hope this helps out a lot. Leave a comment below. Give a like. It's going to help. I plan to do a lot more of these. Next one would be on the flexity. It'll probably be like a shorter version. You know what? I don't know if I'll do the flexity, but I know I'll definitely do the E2. E2 is just such a little... It's got a few more steps to start off on compared to the modern ones. But with that being said, this has been your assimilation simulation, where we assimilate simulation games, mostly transit. Today has been Trans in Vienna, ULF, forwarding, startup, and shutdown, and reversing. Y'all enjoy. Resistance is futile.